let's look at lab two. And if we scroll down here, we can see we have some program code here. And what we want to do is just click here to download this code. And I'm going to say import into compiler. And I'm going to leave the same name as it has here. And I'm just going to hit import. And at this point, we have it in here. Now, if I just double click on the 2a.cpp, we can see all the code that we had in our example in the lab has been brought in here. Now that we have the code here, all we have to do is hit compile. When it's compiling for the Freedom K22, as it shows here. And then we can say save file because we're going to be using Firefox. And you'll see up here, it's going to, when we left click, it's going to have the file here. So I can right mouse click, open containing folder. And I've got DAP link down here. I'm just going to grab that and I'm going to slide it down to here and let it go. Once I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up PuTTY. And right now, if you remember, we had COM7. So I'm just going to go back here and change this to COM7. I'm going to say open. And one thing that I have to do right now is hit the reset button on the micro. Then once the reset button has been hit, I'm going to click inside the thing and say, hi there, how are you? Question mark. And it goes back to the start of the same line. And that's what this code does here because the carriage return does put you back to the start of the same line. Now if we go here and make some changes and just take out these comments, let's compile it again. Let's save it. And let's go up here again and right mouse click and open it and let's bring down the latest revision here and drop it into DAP link. Now again, once it's finished, I'm going to have to hit the reset button. Let's bring this up again. And if we say, hi there, how are you, question mark, and if we hit enter, it goes to the start of the next line because we've made these changes. So when you make changes to your code, you compile them, you download them, but once they're downloaded into Daplink, you have to hit the reset for those changes to take place. Now one other thing that we should be aware of as well is if we go back here, Let's close this session here. And let's bring up PuTTY again. Now we said that it was COM7, so we can change this to 7. And if we want to make it permanent, we can go to default settings and say save. And after this, every time we open it, it's going to come up with COM7 and it's going to work right off the top.